if you are going to invest in crypto, before you invest, you must first consider this important realities that are going on right now. Bitcoin is the future. There's no dispute about that, but not the way we thought about it. Why? Because Bitcoin has pros and cons like any other technology. Nothing is a panacea. Nothing is perfect. Everything has pros and cons, which in results means that it is just a tool and tools are great for a single purpose. They're not great for every single purpose. You cannot cook with a hammer. You cannot try to turn a light on with a drill. It's not gonna work. So Bitcoin is great for privacy, but it is bad for safety. That's the pros and cons of Bitcoin. And it is also very slow which is another problem that many people are experiencing today. So what would be the future? There is another tool looming in the horizon and that tool is called a stable coin. A stable coin is a type of currency that allows people to track everything. It's basically the total opposite of Bitcoin. It allows central banks to account for every single transaction. If there's any type of fraud, it will be detected. And they can even reverse transactions, which is great for people that are being scammed. It would be like a super PayPal on steroids that can range all the way from all the banks of a certain brand to the whole United States or even the world, a worldwide currency that's digital. And the people that control the currency control the planet, control everything in the world. They control absolutely every single job. They control absolutely every single business. They, they would be like gods. That would be insane amount of power. If that would be a coin that would be established by the world, uh, the United Nations uh, organization, for example, or if it was established by the US government and its alliances, then that would mean that it would be, it would make them like gods, essentially, like infinite power. They would be able to see everyone's transactions and they could even eliminate jobs. For example, like accountants, they would not necessarily be eliminated but they would be in the crosshairs very badly because there would not be a need for people to actually do the accounting process as we speak, the classic way that it has been done for so many years because the computer would have had all the accounting information automatically as the transaction is being performed, the trans the accounting information would have been generated automatically. So it would not be um, very good for accountants in, an, in a sense. They might go to other areas, like for example, auditing. If they go into auditing, then they would be a lot safer in theory, but it is not entirely safe. I myself was studying accounting. I'm probably going to go to another field because this looks dangerous. And I am not the type of person that handles uncertainty with happiness. I prefer certainty. I prefer to eliminate the risk. So what is a stable coin? The pros and cons. So a stable coin is the opposite of Bitcoin because a stable coin allows you to have a value that's attached to a dollar, which people believe hey, the, the dollar is the only thing that has value, but it is, a, it is a contradiction because the dollar has no actual value. It is just perceived value. It's a fiat currency, which means that it, does, it is not backed by gold. It is not backed by anything, only our knowledge and understanding that this piece of paper that could ordinarily be worthless is actually valuable for us. 
which is the reality. And you can go to the Federal Reserve and you can actually see that in their website and you can absolutely understand what I'm talking about. And it is not my own opinion, it is a fact. So, this type of technology, the stable coin, it is capable of disrupting everything. Like I just mentioned before, it can give the central banks power of gods. They will be able to see all our lives, all our data, all our transactions with an even greater amount of precision, which they are doing so right now already, but they would be able to do it in a greater sense much much better than what they're doing it right now and because already we have bank accounts that are totally digital and our transactions are being monitored some banks really don't care about it and they don't collect that much data but they will do soon they will start collecting our data and selling it or capitalizing it using it to generate a income based off on the certainty that data can generate because data is the new oil in the future because oil was an easy product to sell now data is going to be that easy product to sell because in business having certainty is extremely valuable that you know something is going to sell something is going to make money and you can sleep soundly and and calmly without losing your sleep losing your head over some risk and that's why data is so valuable and with stable coins and crypto coins eliminating cash altogether would mean way less privacy way less um power in the hands of people and businesses and way more power in the hands of governments and big bank institutions which would not be something that big bank big big corporations are going to like because big corporations are going to feel like they're being left out and it's going to be a struggle for power because then the people that control the digital currency are going to control essentially everything they're going to govern absolutely every single business because they control the money. Whoever controls the money controls everything. Like right now, the Federal Reserve, they control the U.S. dollar. The central bank controls the money, the money flow in every single bank and grants a license to every single bank to be able to print or not print, but create money out of thin air just by typing in a stupid keyboard. So right now, they already have that level of power and they already have that information. And accountants are still operating and financial people, financial jobs are still there, which begs the question, are financial people going to be necessary accountants in the future as we continue to adopt these new powerful tools? Will there even be a need for them anymore? It is quite disconcerting and complicated and hard to predict. My best suggestion and guess is if you're an accountant you should study artificial intelligence because that is the best bet right now because that is the tool that is going to be used to eliminate most jobs that exist right now and a lot of people are going to lose their job because of artificial intelligence so you must learn data science you must put yourself ahead of that blade else you will be cut by that blade. That is the new tool. That is the new industrial revolution. And that will absolutely destroy most jobs that exist today. I am not kidding. This is a reality. And it is a fact that IBM Watson and Google AIs are insanely advanced. They have not been deployed completely for commercial use, for consumer use but they are in existence and they are very powerful and they are capable of eliminating more than 90% of jobs. So if you guys feel safe in your job, this is a wake up, wake up call for you to start studying data science because it is the freaking future. 
even don't be afraid of it. It is not insanely complicated. It is not too hard to learn. It is just another logical step in business, another logical system. It's just statistics that are automated. That's basically data science. It's automated statistics using Python, using R, using Tableau, using different tools, using C Sharp ML. It's just that it is not impossible to learn. You should learn it if you care about not being homeless or losing your job because it is that dangerous, guys. And should you study one of these jobs and expect a stable job is a really great question, guys. Nowadays, we are having many problems finding stable jobs because sadly, technology is just taking over everything. And if you, do, if you are in the right side of the war, you are going to be better. If you are in the side of technology, you will be safer. If you are in the side of people that are protest, protesting against technology and saying, oh, no, we don't need technology, all that stuff. Guys, follow the money. What makes more money? Is it people charging for everything and needing salaries and vacation days and so on and so or is it actually a robot that can work 24 seven and can even do the job a little bit better and doesn't even need a salary and is always there for any task and is even you can even duplicate your workforce just with one robot so that is a reality Technology is going to do that. So we must study artificial intelligence. We must be on the right side. So continuous education is the way. For people that are already in financial technology or financial industry as an accountant, as anything, you should definitely consider studying artificial intelligence because it is the future. Everything that's going to be automated will be automated with artificial intelligence. It is a force of nature. It will happen. It is, history repeats itself. Just as the Industrial Revolution, we stopped using horses and we started using engines and people that were working by hand suddenly got replaced by machines. That is what's going to happen right now, guys. A lot of white collar jobs a lot of even blue collar jobs and low skill jobs are absolutely going to disappear. And I'm not saying this to be gloom. I'm saying it because it is a reality. And the, the thing is that guys, I came up with this solution of creating a, a virtual economy where people can make money using virtual products, buying and selling virtual products in an innovative way where the price doesn't need to come up. It is not a panacea. It is not a substitute for a regular job. It can help people. I made it patent pending. I'm probably gonna make it open source. And the whole idea of this project is to actually help people and create a supplemental income that can help people somehow be better off, have a tool that makes money. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know. It's basically a market where you can buy one course and then you can swap it for another one and make money just for swapping it with people. And you don't need to increase the prices. That's about it. And it works by sharing the offer with other people, inviting more people to the system. So there's always gonna be people buying and selling courses. And that's how it works. And if you guys are interested, and just let me know. So have a great day, guys.